ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1300 ladder. Let's play one last game with these ads, aka Wide Your Organization's terrible ad system. What? Let's play one last game with the true king of games ladies and gentlemen i do apologize about the ads as usual on ygo dog water organization y'all gotta fix your ads so it says here hear me out what if we made yugi's deck from the end of the original series work as a coherent strategy now l-e-d-e for those of you who don't know stands for legacy of destruction this is the next next set <laughs> that we get uh in like the core booster sets so this is what i'm always talking about with we get so much information so far in advance that you can start preparing for things to come this is a perfect example of that we are like all the way out to i think this is going to be like our march core booster set so keep that in mind if you see things that you want start buying up cards now so that you're ready for 2024 with this set but i read this first card which is a brand new gandora monster and i'm like i gotta film this so this is geis gandora the dragon of destruction level eight dark dragon effect monster zero attack and defense all the rank eight axis players all i guess two of you put your hands on up in there you got another level eight monster you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn if you control gold sarcophagus of light Hello. You could special summon this card from your hand. Gains 300 attack for each banished card. It's a Grand Maju, basically. That's hot. Uh, you can pay half of your life points. Dear God. Destroy as many other cards on the field as possible. And if you do, banish them. Then special summon one level 7 or lower monster from your deck that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light. And if you do, increase its level by the number of cards destroyed by this effect. Keep in mind, we still have yet to get the other Gandor monster that's only been in the OCG for God knows how long now. So Konami could easily like give us this Gandora monster and as like a TCG import, put in that other Gandora monster because uh, that would actually help grab Maju decks a lot. So let's see what else is in here. Like, are, do we even have good monsters for Gold Stark of Light? This is Silent Swordsman Zero, level four light warrior effect monster, a thousand attack and defense. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. Once per turn during each standby phase, increase this card's level by one. Okay. While this card's current level is higher than its original, it gains attack equal to the difference times 500 so it goes up by one level it becomes 1500 you're probably only going to use this for level four extensions honestly when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets gold sarcophagus of light and or a monster or monsters that mentions it you control quick effect you can negate the activation if you do increase this card's level by one. Oh, that's cool so it gets one negation and it goes up by level i mean that's cool i guess it's a main deck like omni negate i guess but it has to target gold stark of light this is silent magician zero Level 4 Light Spellcaster Effect Monster 1000 Attack and Defense. You can, only use, you can only use the third effect once per turn. If your opponent draws a card or cards, increase its card's level by the number drawn. That's like the original Silent Magician. While this card's current level is higher than its original, gains attack equal to the difference times 500. Okay, whatever. When your opponent activates a spell card or effect and you control Gold Stark of Light Quick Effect, you can negate the activation if you do increase its card's level by 1. That's really interesting. <clears throat> I don't like the fact that it says negate the activation because keep in mind, cards like Triple Tactics Talent say you can only activate one per turn. If your opponent negates the activation, then the opponent can just play another fucking talents. So, yeah, I, I don't really like things that say negate the activation. <coughs> um, excuse me. Uh-oh, we've got gadget cards. Robbie Cole, eat your heart out. Oh, my God. So, this is Tricolor Gadget. Level 4 Earth Machine Effect Monster, 1300 attack, 1100 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one gold Sark of Light or one Spell or Trap that mentions it from your deck to your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can set one Stronghold, the Hidden Fortress, directly from your deck. Robbie, you've been asking for gadget support. This is a gadget card, technically, and it's a level four earth, so you can do things like Gallic Granite. It's a level four, so like you can summon out 10 goldfish and get to this. Uh, what does this gold Sark of Light thing do? Like, what are we talking here? Oh my god, really? Mashy Marshmallow. Oh my god. Wow. I remember back in the day, my dad played Burn. I mean, he played Burn for years, and he would play Marshmallow. 
Oh my god, really? This is literally just the glasses that are the equip spell from Marshmallow. Wow. Bro, this is this is crazy. This is cool. Level 3 Light Fairy Effect Monster, 300 tech, 500 defense. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your opponent's turn, if you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. While you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent's monsters cannot target other monsters for attacks. Damn. If this card's destroyed by a card effect, you could special summon one of your other mar mashy marshmallow that is banished or in your hand deck or grave. And if you do, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. What? This card appears to be a play on mashy, which means more plus extra. Bro, this card's actually kind of good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is the gold sarcophagus of light. It's a continuous spell. Oh, no. Konami, all you had to do was slap the field spell logo on this bitch. Man, that's some baby bag bullshit. This better be worth it. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. Cannot be destroyed by monster effects. Okay. During your main phase, you can add one card from your deck to your hand that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light except itself. So, except the Gold Sarc of Light. If your opponent special summons a monster, monsters from the graveyard, you can discard one spell, then target one of those monsters, send it to the graveyard. Oh, this thing should have been a fucking field spell. So you have no way to search this now, right? Like, unless, like, one of these cards searches it. This lets you special summon a, a, a Marshmallow or whatever. This can add you the Gold Stark of Light. Okay, so you have a way to search it. But still, like, just make it a field spell, bro. Oh, God. Okay, what what is this thing? Silence of Time. Turn, turn, silence, turn, silence. I think that's a typo. I think it's just called Silence of Time. Turn, silence. Quick play spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target one face-up monster you control. Increase its level by three. And if you activated this card in response to your opponent's monster effect activation, while you controlled gold sarcophagus of light and a monster that mentions it, negate that effect. That is so fucking specific. <laughs> if your monster that mentions gold sark of light battles, during damage calc, you can banish this card from your graveyard in the battle phase. Okay, this card's totally worth it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like you could pitch this off of Gold Stark of Light and just dump a monster to the graveyard, and then you have something to end the battle phase. That's disgusting. Uh, ties of the Fellowship slash Ties of the Companions. Okay, so it's either Ties of the Fellowship or Companions. Normal spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. If you control Gold Stark Alpha of Light and a monster that mentions it, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Also, special summon up to two level four lower monsters with different names from your hand or deck that mention Gold Stark Alpha of Light. Bro, Cosmic Cyclone's about to go up in value, bro. Because, like, if you don't have this thing when your opponent activates a spell card or effect you can negate the activation if you don't have that silent magician zero up and you cosmic cyclone the shit out of this gold sark <laughs> this deck just doesn't function <laughs> wow okay silence towards the future quick play spell card you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn add one monster from your deck to your hand that mentions gold sarcophagus of light then if you activated this card during the battle phase while you controlled gold sark of light and a monster that mentions it each player draws until they have six cards in their hand yo this bitch is card of sanctity and if you have the silent magician or the silent swordsman then they gain levels because you drew cards what like Hold on. So, then if you activate this card during the battle phase while you could, Wow. Like, you have to control Gold Sarcophagus of Light and a monster that mentions that you draw until you have six. This seems really good. This is Stronghold the Hidden Fortress. Continuous Trap. Special summon this card as an effect monster. Machine, Earth, level four. Attack, zero. Defense, 2,000. With these effects, this card is also still a trap. Gains a thousand attack for each card you control that is Gold Sarcophagus of Light or a monster that mentions it. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack and you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can destroy that monster. Bro, if the opponent prohibitions you and calls Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you just lose. <laughs> like, I know I'm just pulling random examples out of my ass, but these cards don't seem good. Like, the draw six thing is nice, but. If you don't have a way to, like, get the Gold Sark of Light to your hand, like, you have a gadget, right? But you know that people are going to be ashing and imperming this fucking thing all day, every day. This is the biggest piece of, like, ash or imperm bait in the game next to Ken and Gen. And, like, if you just can't get to Gold Sark of Light, you lose. Imagine going against Tyr and they hit you with Aigido or Kelbeck 
and they make you mill all three of your gold circle of lights, that would be my luck. That would genuinely be my luck. I don't know, man. These cards don't seem that good. Like, they, it seems like there's so much potential here, and maybe there's just something I'm missing. Or, like, maybe Robbie will pull some gadget shenanigans out of his ass and, like, run this tricolor gadget with the Gold Sark of Light. Like, Gold Sark of Light, if you think about it, is equivalent to King Sarcophagus for Horus Monsters. And, like, they only have one way to search it, and this is basically the equivalent of M. Seti. So... I don't know. This doesn't seem it, Chief. This Gandor card seems really broken, but I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. These are just my initial thoughts. This Marshmallow thing is disgusting, though. Like, that card's good, and this draw six is insane. Like, that that's the thats the best thing out of these is the Marshmallow retrain. It went to college and got glasses and the draw six. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.